much, Arik, and thank you very much, viewers, for joining us again. For those of us that are watching for the very first time, I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Nkoyo Veronica Efrete. I'm also known as Nikki the HR Agony Aunt, and I'm here to share with you tips, advice, and even industry secrets to help move your career or business forward. Now, today's topic is all about dealing with grumpy people or moody people, and I'll do this by sharing a story first of all. Let me read it out to you. Right, so it's all about Adam the Grumpy Grump. Adam was an amazing worker, but man was he temperamental. Any small thing, Adam will be pouting like a seven-month-old baby who had his favorite toy taken away from him. Adam was starting to annoy his colleagues with his attitude because when he was moody, it was awful, and everybody else's work suffered for it. What's a boss to do? Fire him or hide under a rock and pretend everything was okay? Ignoring a problem doesn't make it go away. In fact, it could worsen the entire issue. So never hide behind a rock. Instead, face it head on. But as you're facing this problem head on, never pander to the person. And I'll explain what I mean by this. Now, for example, what you could tell yourself is uh, it might be a personality problem, but that isn't good enough when you're in a business environment. We have to be able to put aside our personal differences and our personality issues and be able to work in a serene work establishment. Makes sense, right? Now, I'll take another tip, and this is a good one. Ask your frustrated colleague if there's any way you can help them by looking at factors that are affecting them in the office. If the person refuses to talk and says that it's your behavior that is making them feel bad, don't accept this. You are not responsible for their grumpiness. Instead, apologize politely, but let them know that it is work that is the issue. So if there are factors that you can change, that is what you need to focus on. I'll round it up with a final tip, and this is important for those whose grumpy colleagues are actually their bosses. Grumpiness can sometimes escalate into a screaming match, where a person is yelling at you simply because they're unhappy. Don't interrupt them, don't say anything. At the end of the conversation, in quotes, let them know politely that you thank them for their feedback and you'll be getting in touch with them via email. This will let them know that it's not an acceptable situation to you and you have become formal in the matter. And a grump that also has a little bit of common sense will step back and know that they need to modify their behavior now and possibly in the future. And just to round up, if you're able to handle problems, issues, including grumpy people, as a boss, your colleagues will have confidence in you. And as a junior employee, who knows, there might be a leadership position in your future that you have suddenly qualified for simply because you have learned how to deal with Adam the Grumpy Grump. Thank you so much for joining us today. And as always, remember, your business or your career, it's in your hands. I know you have what it takes to make it a success. Take care. Goodbye.